Hello and welcome back to Retfer. So on today's video we've got this Sony CDP790 compact disc player. So let's get straight into it and do a quick test to make sure it's all working okay. So as you can see there doesn't seem to be a hell of a lot happening when I'm putting the disc in. Um, even when I press play nothing seems to happen. It should display the amount of tracks that are on there. So it's not actually doing that so I'm presuming there's some sort of disc read error. So I actually bought this CD player supposedly in working condition. Now I didn't get a chance to test it because it wasn't that local to me. One of my friends was quite local to the person that was selling it so he collected it for me and then I only just tested it when I started doing this video. So I was quite surprised that it wasn't actually working. So right the first thing we need to do is get the lid off which is four screws on top and then two screws either side and then the lid can be removed and lifted off. So as you can see inside the unit is pretty good condition, it looks nice and clean, not too much dust, um, not a hell of a lot going on inside as you can see but yeah it looks to be in pretty good condition. So the first thing we need to do is remove the laser section. So there's a small ribbon cable that needs to be lifted out of the circuit board, this is just pulled out carefully and then there's three Phillips head cross head screws which hold the main part of the laser unit in place. Once those are removed you then need to open up the tray and then you can actually lift the unit slightly back and then it allows access to the four tabs which hold this piece onto the CD tray. So this part needs to come off to allow the tray to be separated from the main part of the laser unit and then the main part of the laser unit can then be lifted out of the main shell of the CD player, allowing access to the laser itself. So now I'm just going to use this small swab with some cleaning alcohol on it and just clean the laser carefully. Now obviously not rubbing too hard, I don't want to damage anything, any of the laser parts. And just working our way around just to clean the dirt film that's on top. You could see a small layer, it almost looked like a haze on top of it. So I'm hoping that was the issue and that was causing it not to work correctly. And there's nothing actually more severe with it. And then while I'm in here I'm just going to wipe over some of the other parts of the unit. And just get some of the dirt that's on there off. And make sure it's nice and clean before I put it back in. And now just running around with a hoover inside the unit, just very carefully, lightly. I don't want to obviously disturb any of the parts. Again, it wasn't too bad and too dusty, so it only need a real light clean. And now we can look at fitting the laser unit back in and just testing that and making sure that it's working okay. And hopefully that rectifies the issue. When you put this tray back in you need to make sure that it slots in the right part otherwise it won't open and close properly. When I first did it, it wouldn't shut so I had to redo it again and just adjust it and then it was fine. So as you can see from the quick test there, it's opening and closing fine. So now we can put a CD in and just make sure that it is working okay. So as you can see from that quick test it was all working fine so now I'm going to give the lid a quick once over, I'm just going to sand out some of those scratches and just give it a quick texture coat on top that will make it looking like new again. So now we can look at screwing down the CD part of the unit back in the shell and this is just the three crosshead screws again just to fit that back in place. And once that's done then we can fit the lid back on four screws on top and two screws either side. And now that's done we can look at giving the unit a good clean. You can see the front is quite grubby, there's quite a lot of dirty marks um, from the years obviously being used. 
So I'm just going to go over this, polish it up, go in all the little small crevices and try and get out as much of the dirt as I can. You can see here just how good it looks. Obviously it's not perfect, but it's a lot cleaner than what it was. Um, I got out as much as I could. And now we can do a quick demo of the unit and just show it all working. Now I've got the original remote control here as well, so I'm just going to use that and just show that working with the unit. As you can see straight away, the CD's playing, it's skipping songs, it's fast forwarding. So it all seems to be working all okay. So luckily with this one, even though it was purchased working and it didn't actually work, it was a nice simple and easy to do repair. So if you ever get issues with a CD player not reading discs properly, this would probably be the first thing that I would try. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. It's really appreciated. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.